If you drive up and down the Maine coast, you will find dozens of beautiful seaside towns. It would be hard to imagine anything could spoil that kind of beauty. Yeah, but folks in one of those towns on Penobscot Bay have been dealing with a threat to their environment and even their hells, and they've been dealing with this for years now. Our Alex Haskell joining us now with details. It sounds like maybe some help is finally on the way here, Alex. Hey, Lee and Sharon. Yeah, help is on the way, and we're talking about something called a super fund site. There are thousands of them all around the country, and they include places like mines where hazardous waste has been dumped. Now a billion dollars from the infrastructure bill signed by President Biden back in November is going to clean up some of those sites that have been on a backlog list because they haven't been funded for a long period of time. And one of Maine's 16 Superfund sites is on that list. Now it would, be, would have been done differently and would have been less pollution. The town of Brooksville is home to the former Callahan Mining Corporation site. It was once a thriving mine. Beginning in the late 1800s, this hillside was mined for precious metals until the site closed in 1972. The methods they had then were needed something to be <laughs> desired. John Gray, the chair of the Brooksville Board of Selectmen, would know. I happened to work at it when it was running and it was, uh, you know, everybody liked it then. They were making money and, and uh, but uh, we didn't realize how much contamination was going on. In the early 2000s, the EPA did a series of investigations at the site. Arsenic and lead contamination were discovered in the soil and rock. PCBs, a group of man-made chemicals which can be harmful to humans, were also found. And then some of the adjacent residential properties had backfill that was mine waste. Ed Hathaway is the EPA's project manager for the site and has overseen its cleanup that's been off and on since 2010. We have the site pretty well um, addressed for the current situation but we also want to make sure the site's protective long term. That's where money from President Biden's infrastructure bill comes into play. It could potentially fund all the final cleanup projects at the site, like removing contaminated sediment in Goose Pond. We want to make sure when we walk away, the site is safe for human health and the environment. And so this money and completing these projects will help us do that. I think it's cost a lot more to clean it up than was ever made out of, out of the thing. Now, it's estimated that roughly $20 million is still needed to finish the cleaning up project of the former Callahan mine. The U.S. EPA is expected to announce how much money the project will get in the next few weeks. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.